hey what's up uh, headed to go get a haircut freaking finally doing my hair is looking long and nasty so it's about time to cut this bad boy so that's where I'm headed we'll get that young haircut in the end I'll show you the end result okay so I just got to the barbershop right now and we're gonna see if it's packed and see if I might do it today if not I will do it tomorrow here we go well I'm back and this is my haircut yep feels good to be nice and short again yep now I'm headed back to go pick up the wife and daughter because we gotta go pick up our formula uh, see you later David got a new haircut, doesn't, don't you look handsome? Don't you look good? So we're on our way to get formula. Formula is so expensive. Well, hers is expensive. I know, because Ireland is allergic to milk, so she has to have like Neutromagen, which is super expensive, and she goes through like, I'm sorry, she goes through a lot of it. Is she okay? She goes through a lot of it. And uh, we just got horrible news that Watch out, man, this car. He's good. Which is the horrible news that the insurance denied the request from the doctor for it's us to get through the I guess it's not a necessity. I guess it's not a medical need, even though she's allergic to the protein in the, in the milk. Yeah. In the milk. Like so it gives her rashes. And like the first the month of. Uh, but if I said I had pimples somewhere, they would, they would grant me something. You know what's funny is they don't do that, but yet they, um, they cover counseling. I think that's really funny. I go to counseling and they cover my counseling for free, but yet they won't cover an actual medical need like a formula. But we are getting gas right now. Oh my god, you guys! Look at I'm going bald. Do you not see that? Oh my god, it's making me so sad. Tell me if that's normal. After having a baby, you go bald a little. It's making me super depressed. I saw these like luscious locks, and now they're like gone. Ireland's in the back, if you guys are wondering. Hi, my girl. I had to hop back here with you, huh? Did you just cry? Yeah, you just want me, huh? You're like, no, mom, I want the freaking bottle. Do you want it or no? You want daddy? Mama, say daddy. They pay attention to the road. Daddy? Is it to the right or to the left? Nishka, some spoons to start to eat. Hey, I'm so excited, Nishka. You're gonna start eating, big girl. Why you call her big girl? Okay, here. Um, her I need to figure out which ones I want. Mommy, get mommy, get mama, get mama, mommy, get mama. There's a beautiful, there's a beautiful. Something she probably doesn't even need. Spoons? She doesn't need spoons? Um, is she eating spoons by herself? Uh, yeah, because other things can hurt her gums. Hello, they're metal. Mm. Ay, Dios mijo, ayúdame. What are these? These are like, to save the food? <laughs> we are driving. This is the first place that me and David ever moved in together when I was in when I was senior year no, in, in high school. Is okay. Hanapero? Yes, this is Hon Apparel. Oh, it is like geez. the nasty, no offense, no, I'm not gonna say nasty. It is Long Beach. And it was this street down there. We had our first place. And you wanna know the first place where we decided what we were gonna name our daughter if we ever had a child together? When we weren't even married, we were just boyfriend and girlfriend. This is 7 Eleven. Was this 7 Eleven coming up? That's crazy. Uh huh. 
the 7-Eleven. Dang, it's still in business too. Yep, the 7-Eleven. We came, we came, um, oops. We came, um, one night. We came, how many, okay, how many times <laughs> I'm, so, I'm excited, I'm excited, okay. So David used to work the swing shift and it was horrible. It was like, from three it was like 3.30 in the afternoon to 11.30 at night. So it was a whole day night. practically. Yeah, so you get home, home in the Yeah, okay. So then it was like one, two in the morning. We had nothing to drink in the house and the markets were closed and we we're like, let's go to 7-Eleven to get something to drink. And on the way over there, we were talking like, what if we ever got married? What if we had a child together? What will we name our child? And we came up with Ireland and then we came up with a river for a boy. And came up with a bunch of names. Yeah, a bunch of names. came up with Alaskan. Oh, no, that wasn't then. And then we wanted at first Ireland Aubrey. That that was what we were thinking, right? Aubrey. Right? Now that I think about it, I'm just like, Aubrey? no, it doesn't go. Okay, but I just think that that's so funny because look at where we're at now. I still like Ireland Rain. Ireland Rain? Yeah, that's a cute one too. But yeah, how funny, huh? Now look where we're at. We're married. Then we had a child. Then we have a different place now. But yeah, I remember the first time we ever got a place. Do you know the first time? We slept in our place, we slept on the floor. That's how excited we were to get our own place. Mishka, be quiet, I'm telling a story. Baby, One I love you, baby. I'll finish the story later. A few moments later. So, Krispy Kreme Donuts. Okay. You wanna get a half dozen? So, like I was saying, what was I saying? Okay. The so, play we were showing okay. them where we so then we slept on the game. floor because we were so excited to have our own place and we were so broke to go get an air mattress because we put all our money into getting our place like the deposit the Shit. first month's rent and stuff yeah. that we were so broke we didn't have a mattress or anything. I, you know I still had that receipt when we bought our mattress. That yeah we account. bought our first mattress and we saved up every nickel and penny to buy our first mattress huh? And oh my god, Ireland, I'm trying to tell a story. We're just gonna have to finish this later. One more minute. A few moments later. Isn't that the original glaze? Is the glaze any coffee or milk? No. No. It's gonna be $9.99, thank you. Thank you. Alright, I'm gonna hop back there, Ireland. I'm gonna hop back there. Hold this. Well, can you hold this to what is this? Sienna? Stop speaking in Spanish to her. She's an English girl. Oh, mi mami, que estas pasando con tu, si, mi vida. Tienes un pelo en tu mano, mi mamá. When Mexicans speak Spanish. You are Mexican. You're such a dork. He's just jealous because he doesn't know how to talk Spanish. <laughs> That's all it is. I'm going to tell the Mendoza family their vlogs to teach you how to talk Spanish. So there's this, okay, there's this like vlogging couple, well family that I like to watch and they're called the Mendoza family who live in Arizona. And their vlogs have so much culture and I'm like, oh, I wish I was like, I can speak more Spanish. You do speak Spanish, Bernan. I know, but it takes me like a second to like comprehend what Okay, well then practice makes perfect. You should practice. Too. No. Do you know my dad didn't know how to speak Spanish? No story because you were just crying. Why can't I tell my story? I just want to talk. Just because you want to talk. <laughs> she said, she never said, I don't care. I'm laughing. It's sweating, babe. Turn on the air, dude. You're the one that told me to turn it off. Crispy <laughs> cream. Oh, crispy cream. Dum dum Yeah! Yes, the dad's over there. Yeah! Uh, <laughs> Krispy Kreme! You're so dumb. Huh? Yes, I am! Arrow Arrow life! Arrow life! <laughs> Oh my goodness, babe. Oh That's how you do it. That's how you get followers. Look. That's how you get some look, young look, followers. Look, look, look. There you go, you just wanted water. Okay, so like I was saying, my dad knows how to speak really good Spanish. And when we went to Cancun, David was so fascinated how he was like shitting the shits with like the guy, the driver guy. And my oh, dad was, was like was... lying, like, like it was so funny because the guy thought that my dad was like a billionaire and stuff. My dad was like, yeah, I'm a billionaire. 
it was so funny. <laughs> Which my dad is not a billionaire, but it was Cancun and it was it was funny. But anyway, back so he's not a a billionaire. He's a trillionaire. Hi, <laughs> mommy. Stop. Sorry. <laughs> She went to bed, so we're gonna be really quiet. I just want to show you what we got from Target and then David, okay, my friend Jessica had this diaper bag and I freaking loved it. And when I was in for a diaper bag when I was She's pregnant, yes, I'm a shocker, Jessica. I'm so sorry. But when I was looking for a diaper bag when I was pregnant, I was so emotional that I would cry over diaper bags. I would cry over anything, but especially diaper bags. Right. So I like just got this like backpack that was black. Not backpack, it was like I don't know. Anyway, I love this diaper bag now and it was really affordable. So Ireland's gonna start solids and we went and bought her a, a car seat, a high chair as well, which David will show you that tomorrow. We'll show you that tomorrow. And we bought her some like spoons and stuff so she can start eating like solid banana stuff that we're gonna make her. So we got spoons. Show them the other thing too. We got little containers. For her, I guess extra food that she doesn't finish. When she, she's gonna finish it. We're talking about Mishka here. And then uh, Jessica said those were good too. Thank you, Jessica. Girl, you're making me buy everything in the store. I was even gonna buy a sippy cup because I thought, oh my god, how cute sippy cups are, but I highly doubt it. This is our inside voice. We haven't even ate dinner and it's 10 o'clock, you guys. And I feel like my anxiety is at an all time high because. I clean up my house and then it gets dirty. Then I clean it up and then it gets dirty. And then my brother comes over and then it gets dirty. And I'm, yeah, I'm just a little like, and then David eats and he gets chips all over the floor. Stupid. Look at it. You're disgusting, David. Okay, we're gonna end the vlog here. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Oh,